All right, everybody, welcome back to our kitchen. Mike, you're not sick of this yet, are you? No, I can't believe I've been here long enough for dinner. <laughs> yes, and that's what Tara Bosch heard. It feels like I just had breakfast. <laughs> yeah, well, you're Captain Crunch. It doesn't go very uh, much of a I'll long way, right? I'll be back tomorrow. All right, he'll you be back tomorrow. You got three meals a day on your Indy style. Monday, Monday. <laughs> all right, Tara, well, let's continue because you had fish earlier. It's all about seafood it's today. It's all about seafood, all of the good nutrients for mom and yeah. for baby. So this is a super quick meal that is so pretty, and I think it looks a a little fancy and it's like a one pan dish cleanup is so oh, I easy. Love it's that. like the easiest thing. So it's lemon caper fish and veggies in parchment paper. Okay. So I love it also because it's also like you get to open a little uh, present when you're opening up your meal and I don't know, it's just fun all around. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to build these little packets. So we start off with some green beans. Oh, those and are nice fresh green beans Yes, too. fresh green beans. And you can use asparagus or sliced squash, okay. whatever French you fries. have. French, French fries. fries. You know, that might yeah. have a different result. <laughs> Twizzlers. You but you could Twizzlers in some potato in there. <laughs> Twizzler, you know, give it a try. Tell oh. me how it tastes. Okay. <laughs> so we've got our green beans, and then we're going to add a filet of fish. Again, I'm using white fish. Uh, this is cod again, but I've done this with salmon before. It's really delicious with whatever fish your family loves. Um, and then we're just going to, I'm gonna take my little glove off, and then we're going to top it with some capers. Oh, These I add that capers. nice salty, briny mm -hmm. flavor. I love it too. And then a little bit of salt. You can kind of add that to taste. And a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. And then just a small pat of butter just right on top and a little bit of lemon, add some lemon slices and some fresh parsley. I mean, look at how pretty this it's is so and it pretty hasn't even and cooked so fancy. Yet. Yes, so you get that all in there and then we're going to wrap it up like a little present. So Mike, this just... is how you impress that girlfriend of yours. Yeah, yeah, right. Seriously. Right? So you just take it and you fold the top together. Can you wrap that in a McDonald's bag? <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't tried it. <laughs> and then you wrap up the ends and you want to make sure you wrap it nice and tight because it's going to steam in the oven when you cook it. So you okay. don't want any of that steam to escape. So, I mean, look at how cute that is. <laughs> so then you just pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. And I've got some cooking already. And UPS oh, drops it off in three days. Yeah. UPS, well, brings that... That package, UPS brings that package to your house. Oh, yeah, in cool. three days, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> right to your front door Amazon and it's hot. Prime. And then through the magic of TV, voila. here we go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can smell the lemon through the packet. So when you're opening it up, be careful because it is warm. Right. You know, if you've got little ones at home, you might want to do this for them. But you just pop this onto each plate. Oh, wow. And there you go. How it long is did you ready. Put, or how long? I don't want to say did you, but would you put that in the oven? 15 minutes. 15? Oh, 15 yes. minutes. That's it. On yeah. what temperature? Is it just a straight 400 3, degrees. 400. Yep, 15 minutes. It's all cooked. We just stood here for 15 minutes. We're <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just missed it. Totally. Yeah, where were you, Amber? <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, that's one of the things I love about seafood. It can seem intimidating to prepare. Yes. But it comes together so quick. I mean, most seafood oh, can be prepared me. in 15 minutes or less. And I mean, you saw it. I just put the packet together, yeah. pop it in the oven. You have time to clean everything up, set the table, and then dinner's ready. And you've got everything here. Toss the packet away, and everything's cleaned up. Boom. No oh, dishes, Mike. No dishes. No dishes. And if you have really long hair on one side, you have that bag that doesn't fall in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always look for the positives, right? Yeah, that's what I'm I doing. love yes. Got to fix my what hair again. What do you again. think it is about like seafood or, or fish that seems a little intimidating for people? Because my husband will come home uh -huh. and he'll have this big, beautiful fillet of fish that's fairly inexpensive. And he's like, I don't understand why, you know, more people don't buy this. Is it just because they don't know how to cook it or what to do with yeah, it? Yeah, you know, it might be lack of experience just when you don't do something all the time. Yeah. It can seem intimidating. But I think taking that first step, when you're wanting to get the benefits of seafood, all you need is one to two meals a week and you're going to get okay. all of the goodness that comes with seafood. Yeah. So you don't have to eat it every single day if you don't want to. Canned seafood is good for you, frozen seafood, fresh seafood. I mean, it's all good for you. So it doesn't have to just be that huge filet that can seem super intimidating right. at the store. Well, there you go. Yeah. Are you writing all this down, Mike? Yeah, well, I think one of the most there rewarding will be a things quiz. is taking a kid fishing, <laughs> catching a fish, letting I'm that child yeah. catch a fish, and yes. then letting that Clean child eat that fish. No, it. that is such it. an amazing experience. That is why I it eat is. seafood. Totally. That, what kind of fish it. do you catch? Um, I, I'm a big fan of red drum in Charleston, okay. the, the drum and the, the trout. Yeah? Yeah. So.
That's oh, great. Good stuff. That's so great. They're telling me I have to rap. So I we thought have she to was asking on. me to rhyme what I was saying. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's like yelling that? rap in my ear, and I'm like, I just want to talk about. I mean, it, unless you, my unless favorite you know dish. To... See what I did? Uh, I rapped. I rapped. I'm gonna make a wish. A boom boom. I'm gonna put it on a dish. <laughs> I would go longer, Anessa, but I know we got to. Uh, hey, I'm up for it. Money, it's um, just a wish. Rapping with a country accent is just <laughs> right where it's at. Come on, I everybody's think, doing it. Everybody's doing it. It's Nashville now. <laughs> I think uh, Tara and Mike could take our jobs, Amber. Maybe you I and know. I go on vacation, and yeah, then they could take I like over. that.